Hi, I'm Dr. Stephen Bradley. I'm a board certified anesthesiologist. I'm here to talk about what is an anesthesiologist. It's a question that I get not infrequently, both on social media as well as here on YouTube and in my emails. So I'm just gonna answer some questions today about what an anesthesiologist truly is. We are physicians that specialize in management of patients undergoing anesthesia. We're also specialists in pain management and critical care medicine. Anesthesiologists have completed 12 to 14 years of education that includes medical school, and that totals 12 to 16,000 hours of clinical training. As an anesthesiologist, we use our background as physicians to thoroughly investigate patients' past medical history. We discuss and consult with the surgeons and the proceduralist to make sure we create a custom anesthetic plan that is tailored to that unique patient. In various areas of the country, practice does change a little bit, where some places you may have an anesthesiologist who is one-on-one -on -one providing patient care in the operating room. More often than not, we do work in a team. There's an anesthesia care team model in which a physician anesthesiologist evaluates patients before and after surgery and supervises or directs an anesthetic that is managed intraoperatively by either a certified registered nurse anesthetist, anesthesiologist assistant, or a resident anesthesiologist physician. At the end of the day, we do everything we can to provide safety and comfort for our patients. That's what I tell my patients before I take them back to the operating room. I say, my job as your anesthesiologist is to keep you safe and comfortable during your procedure. If you or a loved one are preparing for surgery, I know it's gonna be a lot on your mind. You've likely met your surgeon or your proceduralist beforehand and you've discussed the details and plans for your surgery. You often meet your anesthesiologist and anesthesia care team the day of or the morning of your procedure. Don't worry because we get our cases ahead of time. We review your medical history. We look at the plan for anesthesia. We develop something that keeps you safe and comfortable and acknowledges your individual and unique medical history. We look at different risk factors you may have and use that to tailor the approach to the anesthetic. We communicate and work with surgeons, proceduralists, nurses in the operating room and we work with nurses preoperatively to help prepare you to surgery. And then at the end of surgery, when you're in the recovery room, it's an anesthesiologist who says, you're okay to go to your hospital room or to go home. So we're there with you every step of the way, even though you probably won't remember us being there. The things that most people know about anesthesia is that we keep you asleep during surgery and make sure that you wake up at the end. Anesthesia is a little bit more than that. Um, you know, we're actually looking at your vitals at every point in the case. We're usually checking your blood pressure every three to five minutes. We're monitoring your heart rate the whole entire time, and in some cases, even helping you breathe with our fancy breathing machine. You can rest assured that you're gonna be in good hands when your care is being provided by an anesthesiologist and the anesthesia care team, because you are our number one priority keeping you safe and comfortable during your procedure. In future episodes, I will answer questions about the training that is required of anesthesiologists. A lot of people ask, how can I become an anesthesiologist? I'll also talk about different members of the anesthesia care team, the nurse anesthetist that we work with, the anesthesiologist assistants, the residency for anesthesiologists, and I'll answer all those questions as well. Thanks for joining.